Hi, it's Pastor Josh with another Spirituality in the Home video, and today, yes, we're really doing it. We are doing Veggie Tales. Well, before we get started, I want to think about our goal as Christian parents. What's our goal? Well, bringing the kids into the faith, that's something that the Holy Spirit does through baptism, through God's Word, through His impact on their lives. God is working through His Holy Spirit to bring our kids into the faith. So our job isn't the end result. That's the Holy Spirit's job. But our job is faithfulness and teaching our kids about Jesus, that the Holy Spirit might work through this. Now, we want to teach our kids about Jesus. And the first thing about Veggie Tales is, Veggie Tales is unwilling to portray Jesus as a vegetable. So, for those of you who don't know, Veggie Tales is a program with colorful animated vegetables. You have Bob the Tomato, Junior Asparagus, Larry the Cucumber, all these characters that so many of us know and love. But one of the things that the creators of the show decided early on is that they weren't going to portray Jesus as a vegetable. On the one hand, that makes a lot of sense. We want to be reverent. We want to be respectful. And Jesus is a little turnip or a little carrot. Uh, maybe a little difficult to maintain that level of respect, so I get it. The problem is, if you can't portray Jesus in an animated show... Oftentimes, they don't end up talking about Jesus. Now, this isn't just a problem that I've found with Veggie Tales. Actually, the creator of Veggie Tales, Phil Vischer, one of the creators, actually gave this in an interview several years ago. Here's what he said. He said, Wait a minute, did I just spend 10 years persuading kids to behave Christianly without teaching them Christianity? So he saw some of these flaws in his own program, that they weren't able to talk about Jesus, at least part in part because they didn't portray Jesus as a vegetable. Now, if a program doesn't talk about Jesus, that doesn't mean it's bad. There are lots of programs that don't talk about Jesus. There are lots of movies I watch that don't talk about Jesus. But it just puts it in a different category in terms of what it's teaching your kids. It's not bringing your kids the message of salvation. So what message is VeggieTales bringing? Well, I break down VeggieTales into three different categories. One is the silly fun episodes. These are episodes like the silly song episodes, uh, episodes that are a lot of fun. They're family friendly. You're not going to find anything bad or morally wrong or any bad language in them. So they're really good to put on for your kids. But in the end, they're, they're mostly silly fun with kind of a moral message at the end. Another type of veggie tale that you'll find is the fable veggie tales. These veggie tales are essentially doing what an Aesop's fable or one of the Proverbs is trying to do and implementing a moral lesson for your child. It's a good thing, it's just not the same as being taught about Jesus. So there are lots of those episodes. I'll actually give you my top favorite, five favorite in just a moment. But there's a third category of Veggie Tale story, and this is actually when they encounter Bible stories. So the Veggie Tales oftentimes will do a Bible story. There's Dave and the Giant Pickle, which is David and Goliath, Josh and the Big Wall, which is Joshua and the Battle of Jericho, and so on and so forth. But the thing is, when they approach these Bible stories, they're generally doing it mostly to bring a moral message, not to bring a message about Jesus. And in fact, the focus of the entire Bible, but especially some of these Bible stories, is Jesus himself. So David and Goliath, for example. The message that the Veggie Tales give us is that little guys can do big things. Well, the real message of David and Goliath in the Bible isn't necessarily that little guys can do big things, that, but that God can do big things, that God can use even a little boy with a sling and some stones to take down a giant, giant and win salvation for his people. And it brings us forward to David's son, Jesus, as he went and did battle with the cross and the empty tomb for you and for me. And so when you don't go that direction with it, you kind of end up taking the Bible story and using it as a moral lesson. So the ones that we show our kids in general aren't the Bible story ones because it's not necessarily the way that we would want to go with the Bible story. The ones we show our kids are the silly fun episodes and the fable episodes that can teach them a good moral lesson. We recognize that this is not the same thing as teaching them Christianity as even the creator of Veggie Tales said. So, my top five favorite VeggieTales episodes. My first one is the ultimate silly song countdown. In the middle of the episodes, there are these silly songs where Larry the Cucumber comes out and he sings just 
some goofy nonsense song, but they're really catchy, really entertaining, and your kids will absolutely love them. So the ultimate silly song countdown, and then number two and number three are the silly sing-along one and the silly sing-along two. Again, more of these silly songs. My number four favorite VeggieTale episode is the League of Incredible Vegetables. It's kind of a play on the Avengers, and this one's really good. It doesn't try to tackle a Bible story, but in the end, the characters realize that trusting in God is better than trusting in yourself and any superpowers or anything like that. That's a really good message. And then my number five favorite Bible or Veggie Tale episode is Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. So I grew up on Veggie Tales. You may have grown up on Veggie Tales too. And I'm not saying you have to totally swear off Veggie Tales, but as a Christian parent, we always have our discernment meter on. We're always checking what's coming into our home, what's coming into the eyes and the ears of our children, and just kind of putting it in its place. The place of Veggie Tales isn't to put about the place of Veggie Tales isn't to teach your children about Jesus. In fact, in general, it doesn't even try. The place of Veggie Tales is much more for silly fun or for kind of getting a general moral lesson across to your kids. So I do recommend the silly Veggie Tales episodes and some of those kind of moral lesson Veggie Tales episodes. But I'd give you caution as you approach the Bible story episodes. Oftentimes because they don't talk as much about Jesus, they kind of fail to miss the Christian point of some of these Bible stories. So, that was our VeggieTale review. Leave a comment down below with your favorite VeggieTale episode, and visit us next time on another Spirituality in the Home video.